Okay, you are for next. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. And hey, this is one of those questions I get asked all the time. BYD, should I oversee my Bermuda lawn with some Bermuda grass seeds that I bought at Home Depot or Lowe's? The answer may shock you. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, you're off next. So when I get asked the question, should I oversee my Bermuda lawn with Bermuda seeds? The answer is simply no, and here's why. Your Bermuda lawn more than likely is a hybrid Bermuda lawn, which means it was sod. It came from the, the builder, the, um, when they built your house, they put down sod. You didn't naturally plant your seeds, all right? So that Bermuda seed is, excuse me, that Bermuda grass is known as a hybrid Bermuda grass which means it's man-made, all right? Those particular lawns, they may produce seed heads, but those seeds in it are sterile. They will not be reseeding your lawn when they grow. The general purpose of your Bermuda lawn is for it to spray it naturally, all right? And it's gonna spread via stow lawns, which are the top runners, or it's gonna spread via rhizomes, which are the roots that grow underground and fill in bare spots, all right? A lot of people say, well, my yard is thin and bare. One of the questions you have to ask yourself is, why is it thin and bare? Uh, what is causing it? Do you have a lot of shade? Is it poor nutrition? Uh, are you just literally cutting your yard maybe every two to three weeks? Um, it, there are certain things you can do to oversee, excuse me, to make your law, yard grow without overseeding it. Now, more than likely, if you oversee your Bermuda lawn, what's going to happen, it's going to take in certain spots. And you may have uh, a different color grass growing in the lawn from the Bermuda seeds that you planted than versus your original. Generally, that sod or that hybrid Bermuda is going to have a darker green than something like this. And like I said, this is non-sponsored, guys. Just this most popular grass seed that you can buy as an average homeowner at the store. But... Seeds like this, when they do start to take, it's not going to fill your entire yard in. It's, it's going to take maybe in some weak spots, maybe in a few strong spots, but it's not going to overrun your natural Bermuda that you had down there when you moved into the, to the house or to the property. So what will end up happening, you'll have spotty patches all over the yard where you have some light green over here, a lot of dark green over here. And generally, you'll start seeing that when it gets tall. Now, even if you cut it like you're supposed to, you'll still notice that there's a slight difference in the grass. So the, the best thing you could do for your Bermuda lawn, your hybrid Bermuda lawn, is proper nutrition. And that's the basic three fertilizing a year, uh, spring, um, summer, and um, early fall. Um, you could add some, some supplements into it that'll help boost it along. But as far as putting down a Bermuda seed with your hybrid, BYD suggests that you don't. Now, I'm going to show you a spot on my yard that I actually planted myself. When you plant your own grass or you sow your own grass from dirt, that is common in Bermuda. That's what it's going to be considered. Hybrid is made man-made. When you plant it, it's going to be common. And a lot of times it grows totally different from the grass that you already have in your yard. So let's go check that out. Okay, you are for next. Look, I'm just going to show you a couple of spots in my lawn. I'm going to show you hybrid, and then I'm going to show you the grass that I planted. And I think I re I sold that about, I want to say about three seasons ago. All right, and you've seen some of my past videos. When June, July gets here, June, July, and August, that stuff looks awesome. But there's a big difference when your hybrid grass goes dormant versus your common Bermuda grass. So let's take a look at the hybrid grass first. Okay, you are for next. So like I said, now this is the hybrid grass. This right here. This is the hybrid. This is the sod. This is what the builder put down. And generally, it's probably about an inch or two inches thick from the dirt up to the grass when they put it down there. When you put those seeds in here, you got to have seed to soil contact. But this grass right here generally will choke out that newer grass that you're trying to put down there. Generally, when you overseed, you're supposed to scalp your lawn so the seeds will have seed to soil contact. But that's gonna be a big issue when you oversee your sod, 
hybrid Bermuda lawn with the seeds from the um, Scott's bag or any other seed farm that you use and you're trying to thicken it up or fill in bare spots with those seeds. Okay, Yard for Nash, and look, I'm just gonna pull out a few little seeds. I just want you to see what they look like. I ain't gonna pull out many. Try not to spill them everywhere. But I'm just gonna pull that out right there. All right, I'll lay that right there. All right, and you see these seeds, guys. These seeds are teeny freaking weeny. Uh oh, teeny weeny, guys. Contact us when you're gonna sow seeds like this on dirt guys it's not gonna take like you think it's supposed to when you overseed your lawn your hybrid lawn with these bermuda seeds now some people they, they'll still do it and i can't tell you not to do it but i could tell you if you get your old grass to spread like crazy it's gonna look a whole lot better your cut cut quality would be more consistent more even it'll grow at the same rate Versus you putting a seed, a finer type blade that may actually grow a tad bit faster, a tad bit taller in your lawn. And you got an uneven cutting surface because some of it's going to be the height that's, that it's supposed to be. Some of it's going to be the height that it's, the, the new seed is going to try to grow at. All right. So let's go look at a common area that I overseeded three seasons ago with Scott's Bermuda grass seeds. Okay, you are for next. Now, I want you to kind of look at, that's that dino trap right there, guys. And if you hadn't seen that video, click on that link up there, man. That, that is something that's totally awesome. If you don't have a dino trap, you need to get one, guys. But if you look at the right side of my yard, this part is hybrid. Now, you look over here. This part is the common permuter, and it has some po poana in it. Now, this was more susceptible to getting poana because during the winter, when you have a hard frost, your common Bermuda will, it's not gonna die, but what's gonna happen is, it's gonna look real bare. I mean, it's not gonna form a, a thick carpet. It's, you're gonna actually see the ground. And I'm gonna get closer to it so you can see it. All right, now if you look, you see a lot of stolons, all that dead, grass looking like those are the stolons because i have georgia clay my rhizome production is not as great as my stolon production now if you look you'll see some green and we got some bermuda grass starting to grow back by june all of this will be filled in so this is the type of this is how your grass is going to have to look or seed the soil which means I'll go ahead and aerate the crap out of this. I'm going to aerate the crap out of it. And I'll go ahead and overseed it. Okay, and once I overseed it, I'm going to add a starter fertilizer to it. And you can use any starter fertilizer you want to, guys. But generally, you get what you pay for. If you find a bag of starter fertilizer for $5, it's not a, of good quality. But you get a bag of uh, starter fertilizer. Um, and if you at this time, if you want to put some sunny land all natural or some milorganite down there along with it to help boost it, that's fine. Guys, that is when you use those Bermuda seeds that you see in the store. Overseeding your hybrid is not what you need to do. When they sell these products, and I always preach this, it's a lot of stuff that you're not being told because it's a money grab. All right, so you're involved in the money grab. You're overseeding your Bermuda lawn, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some people on here who say, "Oh, mine turned out perfect, guys." I mean, it was like a, 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 a another carpet. It's just excellent. I love the way it looked when I overseeded it. But generally, if you overseed a hybrid Bermuda lawn, you're gonna have issues with that grass taking uh, into that soil versus you sowing it from dirt, which means you got a like most of these new subdivisions, they'll build a home, sod in the front, sides, and half of the back. The other half, till that part up real good, put down some Bermuda seeds, a good strong um, starter fertilizer, keep it wet and moist for like the next three or four weeks until you see those seeds start to take. So hopefully guys, that answers your question. If you should overseed your Bermuda lawn um, in the spring, uh, most of the time when you do overseed, it's best to overseed a Bermuda lawn around mid-May, all right? 
Bermuda seeds need a lot of heat, a lot of sun, and a lot of moisture and water to germinate. You do not overseed a Bermuda lawn in the winter time unless you stay in an area where the temperature is consistently over 80 plus degrees all year long. People in Florida have a better success rate. Uh, some people off the coast, if you live in Hawaii, you may have a, a, a greater chance of the grass growing. But if you live in a region that gets frost, like we do here in Georgia, wintertime, it gets down to the 30s, you do not overseed your Bermuda lawn during those times. The best time to overseed your Bermuda lawn, I repeat again, will probably be May and June. All right, you can get away with trying to do it in April, but it's going to depend on the temperatures. But generally, May and June, um, July is okay, but July generally is so freaking hot that the ground starts to crumble and your seed to soil contact is, is not as great as it was between the months of May and June when you're getting a little rain that's going to help keep the ground a little soggy per se. All right. So hopefully this answers your question about overseeing your Bermuda lawn uh, with Bermuda grass seeds. And guys, like I said, if you hadn't subscribed, Click that subscription button. Turn on button. those notification bells. And every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Once again, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD in the quarantine Afro neck in there. This is BYD, and I'll talk to you soon.